This video parallels the series on installing and configuring Microsoft Active Directory. We will create a new Active Directory forest and domain using Windows Server 2025 Core without the GUI. The steps in this guide apply directly to Windows Server 2022 Core and are very similar for Windows Server 2019 Core and 2016 Core. We will cover the following topics. Operating system preparation, promote the computer to a domain controller, post domain promotion first actions, create user and computer organizational units, create a new administrator account, set up a DNS IPv4 reverse zone, set up a central store for group policy templates, and next domain steps. For basic Windows Server Core installation, see my video here. Once the OS is installed and you're within the Server Configuration as config screen, select Option 9 to set your time zone. For Windows Server 2019 and 2016 Core, type sconfig to enter Server Configuration. Select Option 8 to set the IP address. Sometimes you may see the error, fail to release DACP lease, result code 83. Hit enter to continue and select option 15 to exit the PowerShell. Set the IP address using the new dash IP address commandlet. Type exit to go back to sconfig. Select option eight to ensure the IP address is set. Select the adapter number to set the DNS servers. When setting the DNS server, set the first DNS server to 127.0.0.1 and leave the second and third DNS server entries blank. Select option two to change the computer name and reboot when prompted. Following the reboot, Select option 15 to exit into the PowerShell environment or the command prompt for Windows Server 2019 and 2016 core, type PowerShell to start and enter the PowerShell environment. Type get dash Windows feature star AD star to see a filtered list of available features. To install Active Directory domain services, Type add dash windows feature ad dash domain dash services. Since we're going to accept the defaults, type install dash ad ds forest dash domain name to create a new forest and domain. See the link here for install dash ad ds forest syntax details. Enter a strong password for the safe mode administrator password and type Y to continue. This password is unique to each domain controller, but you can make them the same if desired. As the computer promotes itself to a domain controller, it will automatically install the DNS role and reboot when finished. Congratulations! You have the first domain controller running Windows Server Core in a brand new Active Directory Forest. In sconfig, select option 15 to exit out the PowerShell. Now we can interrogate the new forest and domain for valuable information. Type get dash ad forest. This will show the new forest important properties, including the forest functional level, domains, global catalogs, sites, and which computers hold the domain naming and schema master FISMO roles. Type get dash ad domain. Likewise, this will show important properties of the domain, such as the domain functional level, and which computer holds the PDC emulator FISMO role. 
Since we accepted the defaults, the forest and domain functional levels are set to Windows Server 2025. Therefore, we can only add domain controllers running Windows Server 2025. Member servers, however, can run any supported Windows Server operating system from 2012 R2 through 2025. However, we should do a few things before moving on. We need to create organizational units for users and computers, create a new administrator account, set up a DNS IPv4 reverse zone, and set up a central store for group policy administrative templates. To create organizational units for users and computers, use the commandlet new organizational unit. Why did we do this? An organizational unit and a container are two different objects. You can apply group policies to an organizational unit, but not to a container. For the most part, you want most of your objects inside organizational units. However, there are some exceptions. As a backup, create a new enterprise slash domain administrator mimicking the built-in administrator. We will use the new dash ad user commandlet. Get the groups of the built-in administrator and add the newly created account as a member. Verify the new user's group memberships. Back in the PowerShell environment, create a new primary reverse lookup zone, which will replicate to all DNS servers running in the domain. Verify with get dash DNS server zone. Now we will set up a central store for group policy administrative templates that will be shared and replicated among all domain controllers within a given domain. Change directory to C colon backslash windows backslash sysvol backslash domain backslash policies and create a folder named policy definitions. Copy the contents of C colon backslash windows backslash policy definitions to the new policy definitions folder you just created. Verify contents. Type ipconfig forward slash all. The DNS server will still be 127.0.0.1, and that is by design as it allows the domain controller to always find itself. Log off, hit escape twice, and select other user and log in as the new administrator. Following the successful installation and configuration of Active Directory, the next steps in continuing the domain setup include setting up a member server as an administrative gateway to ease management, bringing online a second domain controller as recommended by Microsoft for redundancy and fault tolerance, joining an administrative client computer to the domain. See my video here on setting up a privileged administrative workstation. This is a computer from which all administrative functions are carried out. Alternatively, this computer can act as a jump box to the administrative gateway server that resides on the same server subnet. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.